So I think um, the majority of patients that need maxillary expansion have also very uh, long and uh, higher palate. So a significant over eruption of the maxillary teeth. And if you place uh, the screw without engaging the molars, I, that's what I have been doing in adolescent patients with acrylic TAD expander utilizing just TADs and palatal uh, shields without including the teeth. That's ideal. Mm -hmm. But in adult patients, I have seen uh, when we use, uh, and I have tried in adult patients cutting the moon expander and just using the screw, and I saw a lot of uh, impingement on the soft tissue. When you expand adult patient, there is a lot of force being generated from the turning the expander. And sometimes just the screw alone is going to bend. So it, it, even if you use the strongest screw that we have in the market, there could be some bending. Uh, so the difference between the arms in the custom design and in the moon expander is that the moon expander has uh, very uh, uh, bendable arms. So they are not very strong. You can easily bend them. So if the patient doesn't open the first five days of turning, there are going to be some shift in the teeth because all these forces from it, turning the expander are going into something. They're going to go into those arms and the teeth. And there is a very high risk of tipping and bending um, of the teeth with the bands when you use moon expander. The other uh, thing is if you use bands that are traditional bands that you see, it, uh, pre-made bands with the moon expander, versus you use 3D printed that are more rigid, that don't go into proximally. I think the banding with the moon expander is going to be less with 3D printed bands. Mm -hmm. But if the patient, you have to monitor, once you deliver the expander, you absolutely have to monitor these patients weekly and you need to know when they split. It's very important. So if they didn't split within the first uh, five days, you are, start looking, you are starting to look for tipping. Even if they split two weeks later, they're going to be some tipping before they split mm -hmm. after five days. So if you use the health partners or rigid custom 3D printed expander, I don't use just uh, in a lot of adult patients, I don't use just the arms to the molars. I increase my anchorage to multiple teeth. I use multiple arms and those arms are rigid. Uh, so I could have an adult 45 year old male that is going to be z will have zero tipping of the teeth because the whole apparatus is very rigid. Mm -hmm. So asking me a question, do we need uh, really bands for the teeth to see the device? I think it's a great tool uh, guide to see the device properly so you can place your implants properly based on the plan. But I do think the custom 3D printed expanders offer additional anchorage if you attach them to the teeth. I have had cases that had only bands, 3D printed bands on the molars versus pre-molars or second molars. And I think those ones that uh, cases that are very difficult to split with anything else split beautifully uh, by adding additional anchorage to the molars. And there was no tipping because the bands and the arms were rigid. And there was zero impingement on the soft tissue. So if I, uh, if you ask me uh, between different appliances, you can't compare the arms of the moon to the arms of the 3D printed because the moon arms are bandable and they will tip and change the position with the change in, of the position in the molars and they will impinge. Today, mm -hmm. 3D printed, I see zero impingement, zero. I have not had one case with impingement on the soft tissue. And I'm talking about male patients. I'm not talking even about female patients because the majority of my custom expanders uh, that I started to use started in males. So now I'm transitioning and using them more in females because a lot of my patients are traveling from far and I can take a chance for impingement and I can take a chance for patients to have emergency or uh, not to split. Mm -hmm. so I would say uh, the rigid design the banding of the arms, the impingement from the arms or tipping of the teeth becomes uh, insignificant problem. Mm -hmm. 